Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Have you noticed that carry guns have become larger and larger as time has gone on? At least the way the manufacturer is categorizing a carry gun. I equate this to cell phones. Back in the day, only rich people had cell phones, and then they had the one you'd carry around with a bag. It had a cord going to the, the handset, and that was a big deal. But then they came out with the standalone phone, and I was one of the first to get it. As a young guy in the early 90s, I got a phone call from my brother, said, hey, you can get one of these. I can get one for you cheap. I said, yeah, get it. I didn't even know how to use it but i would walk around and act like i was talking to people said that's one of those new cell phones right there and i loved the attention even though i didn't know how to use it but as time went on phones became smaller and smaller and then they came out with flip phones and even these tiny little phones they had and smaller was better It'd slip it in the pocket and be done with it but then the internet got involved and phones became larger and larger and larger again some phones are like this big now and we see that exact same trend with carry guns. The kel P3AT was a huge deal. The P32 also a huge deal. Very small. Prior to that, they were large. 1911s, 4-inch barrel revolvers. But then they became, uh, a trending pattern became very small. Little pocket guns. Then Ruger LCP. You know, Ruger copied the... P3AT, they came out with their own version, and people were selling those for, there were bidding wars at, at gun shows for over $600 to get their hands on that, if you could believe it or not. But then as time went on, people said, I don't want the 380, I want the 9mm. Car had the PM9, Diamondback had the DB9, the Shields came out, it was a huge seller, couldn't even keep them on the shelves at the gun stores. They were selling for over $600 once again. But then, when SIG came out with the P320 and they were able to stuff 10 rounds in a magazine with a 3.1 inch barrel, it became hugely popular. And then they started increasing the magazine size. This is a 12 round. And then they continued to do that. Then they came out with the X Compact, began to make them larger. And people were eating those up. And the X Macro came out. It made huge news. People wanted a larger handgun. You look at Springfield with the Hellcat. Three inch barrel, subcompact, double stack, nine millimeter. What'd they do? They came out with the Hellcat Pro. 3.7 inch barrel and now 17 round mags. You look at the Sig X Compact. 15 round mags, 3.7 inch barrel. And what did they do? They have the P320X carry with larger mags. It's a larger overall handgun. I think things are trending larger. You look at the Taurus GX4. When this came out, people were shocked. You know, the small, little, lightweight, 11-round carry gun, 3-inch barrel. But what did they do? They came out with a GX4 carry. They made a larger gun, 3.7-inch barrel, 15-round mags. And they're calling it a carry gun so things trended very small for a long time and now things are getting large again and we're seeing people carrying 1911s is it a sign of the times or is it just trending in that direction or is this a bunch of nonsense because i know the single stack market is still large people are pocket carrying either as a secondary or a primary handgun people are still carrying revolvers with five and six rounds in the pocket and they they say you know what i don't want to deal with magazines i don't want to deal with anything i want the revolver and then others are going with the larger handguns and what i'm wondering is where do you sit on this are you saying i want to get the the largest handgun i could possibly carry still maintaining a comfort level where i know i'll carry it every day or I'm, I'm fine with the lower capacity because I feel it would be enough to protect my life if needed. Capacity is always a, a big deal. If you carry a single stack, I highly encourage you to carry a spare mag because you just don't know what you could be in for. And you don't know how many rounds it's going to take to fend off an attacker. Double stack nines became popular and then we saw an explosion of those. Now we're seeing those same guns made by the same manufacturers, but in a larger format where people are saying, 
I think that's the one I need. Prior to that, you know, you look at the FNS 9C, there is that medium 3.5 inch barrel, the P10S by CZ, right in the midst. 12 round mags, 3.5 inch barrel, and a lot of people were fine with that. I don't know where you stand. That's what I'm wondering. Are you still a Glock 19 guy that will carry that and say, I want the 15 rounds and I want the reliability of a Glock? Or I'm going with a smaller pocket gun or somewhere in between. The trend is kind of fascinating if you think about it, how things went from so small to a little bit larger to a little bit larger to a almost a full-size handgun, which brings it back to where it was about 15 years ago. Let me know what you think. I'm sure interested to hear your thoughts. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.